Hello everybody, it is Toby here, back for another episode of Minecraft The Lord of the Rings. And is, is everything okay over here? Well, that bunny is just having a, having a groovy time. Anyway, we are back with... Oh. <laughs> I see what happened. That's why the bunnies are rolling and everything. And all this is happening. It's because it's April Fool's Day when I'm recording this. <laughs> I'm extremely confused. Right. Anyway, yeah, so this is this is I guess what happens when you record Minecraft the Lord of the Rings on April Fool's Day. You get some roly rabbits and lots of Scotland. Well, anyway, today we are returning from the uh, Mage Water Marshes, getting back on the road in the Lone Lands and making our way all the way over to Rivendell and Trollshaws if we can. And I'm just I'm just interested what other surprises we're gonna find on the April Fool's Day thing, because Honestly, I have no idea. I guess we should keep heading east anyway. But wow, that's that's strange. It's weird coming back into Minecraft The Lord of the Rings having just done a big recording session of Lego The Lord of the Rings. My brand new series on the channel. A couple of episodes of that I've already released. Please go ahead and watch that if you haven't already. Because it's much like this series just with Lego rather than Minecraft. And we're playing through the story mode, it follows the events of the films. It's all completely done with music and the like, and it's incredibly good. I'm having so much fun doing it, and I can't wait to 100% complete that game, go through and do everything in that. And that is definitely going to be a series that is going to be uh, releasing for a good long while, and at the moment, it's a daily series for the uh, next few weeks at least. So, yeah, it's, it's good. You guys should go watch that, because... These roly-poly rabbits are really strange. Oh my god. Like seriously, is there any, is there any need for roly-poly rabbits? I just can't wait to see like orcs and stuff. Is there anything else that is broken? Like what happens if we smoke? Is every is everything else fine? Yes, okay, it seems to be fine. Do I look fine? I look fine. Okay, well I'm glad that it's not just it's not everything that's broken. I'm glad it's still a playable mod pack. God, there are leaves on the road. Someone needs to come and service this road. It's the potholes are the strongest as bad as England. And I know I live there. God, yeah. Anyway, this is certainly very strange that we have to. We've we've come in, and we've realised that there are roly poly rabbits in Scotland everywhere. But I hope that's all that's different about this. Because I really wanted to come on and record a Minecraft The Lord of the Rings episode for about an hour as a break between my recording sessions of Lego Lord of the Rings and stuff like that. And I really hope you are enjoying. There is a there is episodes of that that release every single day at 7 p.m. Uh, UK time. And yeah, you you guys should really really go watch that. I'm having a hell of a lot of fun recording it. It's Lord of the Rings, so it's a win-win for both me and the viewers on my channel who love Lord of the Rings to death, or at least they love this series to death. And this road is definitely, definitely needing servicing. But yeah. It's a fun series. And you guys should definitely check it out. But as for today, we're going to see what we find in the Lone Lands and how far we make it. So we're going to make it past Weathertop over the last bridge. Then uh, we'll probably take a detour through Troll Shores and then down into Rivendell. Just so we can see a bit of the trolls and stuff like that. Because they'll be quite fun to look at, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, oh, there seems to be a fort over there. Question is, do we cross the river and look at the fort? And I can't, I can't take it. These, these spinny rabbits are the weirdest thing ever. <laughs> like, they're honestly so strange. All right, let's go over to the fort. Now, where do you, the chest is? Where do you reckon the chest is? I reckon it's. No, that's a slab. I hear an orc. I really hope the chest isn't like up on the 
topmost corner because that would be annoying if it was. <coughs> yep, it is by the looks of it. No? It's not in that corner, it's not in that corner. It must be in this corner. No, not this corner either. Which corner's the chest? I can hear orcs as well. It's not it's not good. And so it must be this corner then. No. Guess we're not gonna have a chest in this one then. Well, that's unfortunate. I wanted some free stuff. But anyway, we'll continue. It's eerily quiet, having just played the Lego Lord of the Rings, which has music and stuff. It's an eerily quiet game, this now, apart from the... <coughs> of random orcs. But yeah, I've been... Oh my god, the twirly rabbits. Yeah, I've been doing well. I've been uh, recording uh, six or seven episodes of uh, Lego The Lord of the Rings, ready to go out every single day. Because what I like to do is I like to record that in a big block and uh, split it up into each level. I just play for an hour or two. Split it up into each level and just uh, upload the levels. And then when I get on to completing it 100% in a bit, that should be good. Good about Wargs of Lords, an invasion nearby. Okay. Okay. What is... <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> what? What is it? What? <laughs> Stay back. Oh my god. What just happened? What? Why did it shoot? A pig. What is that? <laughs> oh dear, that's the best. It's the funniest thing ever. Are we having any more? If not, I'll put them. Okay, okay, yeah, we're having more. Okay, there's a lot of them. Shoot. Okay, we need to we need to back up a bit. And kill any of the wargs that come in. <laughs> yeah, there's just one warg left and a couple of orcs. We have plenty of warg fur. <laughs> Stay back, evil man. <laughs> Not man. Alright, are there still things coming? So we haven't got anything good. I used a lot of arrows then. We've got to hope we come across any more places to get arrows. Yep, there's more. Just shoot them twice and it's fine. Now, are there any of my arrows? Oh, okay, no. Stay back. Is that a Mordor walk? Because I want you to stay back. Are you crossbowing me? Could you not? If he was an archer, he dropped coins and crossbow bolts. Okay, stop with the bomb. Bom. I wonder if I can outlast this invasion. In fact, this is just a this is just a pig. Okay, more more are coming. I'm out of arrows. Oof. I got a walk skin rug. Stop throwing pigs at me. Run. Okay, the idea is now to run. 
Don't spear me. Okay, there's one. Arrows. Get away. <laughs> Dunadine champion, brilliant. Okay, this invasion's a little hefty. Okay, let's start around. Let's get the archer so we can get his arrows. No, he didn't drop any arrows. Brilliant. That's got to have been the invasion over. Okay, so we got Hooch and a wolf skin rug. Belonged to Gandalf the Gundabad Warg. Why would you call your warg Gandalf? That makes no sense. Anyway, let's have a look at it. <laughs> well, that's silly. Now I've run out of space in my backpack. What can we get rid of? That and that. Yeah, we'll get rid of this stuff. Stuff stuff I don't want to keep. We can drink that actually. So let's let's do a clear out. That's not wanting to be there. We'll put that in there. Let's do a bit of a clear out. Purple dye, yep. Yeah. yeah. Orange dye, yeah, you can. Yes, you can have the gammon. Stupid crow. More hooch. We can drink that. More hooch. Oh, hooch must be Orc draft. And I don't know why they've called it hooch. Raw venison can go. More more hooch, which is cherry stuff. A bottle of poison can go. Conquer can go. Alright, and was that a hoe? Yes, the hoe can go. Right. Let's get back on our feet and go. I'm pretty sure that's the evasion over. Unless did the invasion drop anything when it's over? I'm not really sure how it works. No, it's still there. Wish me luck. We're going back in for round two. There we go, it's finished. All right, just so if we survive this lot, we'll be fine. And we will have completed the Morgan invasion. Which, you know, it's probably a bad idea to do anyway. Because now Gundabad very hurt me. Because, I mean, so at least no Scotland like me. Wait a minute, is, is no Scotland like... Oh, I don't know, I don't know how, how the Scotland works. But anyway. Come on. There we go. So now that that's finished... Did it drop anything? Or was that just... It was just useless. Right, let's put you away. And continue. Right. Sorry for that little detour. God, that really hurt my helmet. So this is why we carry an equipment pouch. Because when that helmet breaks, I'll be straight on with a new one. And we need to find another spare after that. So hopefully, by the time we get to Lothlorien, we'll be able to get some... Uh, new stuff but yeah wow that took a long time that invasion and let's hope we don't come across any more like bandits or anything I'm also running out of food which you know I'd hope not to happen but it's fine I've got a food pouch as well I'd be stuffed if they stole a food pouch when the bandits came I'm glad they just took the valuables pouch because the food pouch is really the one I don't want to be stolen. Wow. Lone lands are really lonely. I mean, who would have thought it, but they are. <laughs> oh, well. Just means we have some time to... Oh, there's a house. Wait a minute, there's a house? Hmm... Who are we going to find? Wait, how how much does... Yeah, Gundabad hate me a lot. I mean, what is what is with the Scotland stuff? Oh, wait. I'm very... No, I, I don't get it. I still don't get the Scotland stuff. Who's this guy? It's 
To be honest, we are glad to see you are an enemy of the Duna Dino Rages, Tops the Chum Chum, to be honest. Right. Well, we are I'm not an enemy of the Duna Dino Rangers. To have you know. Touch flooring. It clearly says positive to the Duna Dino Rangers. But anyway, it's good to see a house, I guess, and not get killed. I mean that was definitely an April Fool's thing. Because as you can see the Duna Dino Rangers. Oh wait, it's like the is it now the ones that say no Scotland versus the one that says yes Scotland? Is that what it is for April Fool's Day? Well, that certainly makes my life a bit easier. Oh, I know it can't be because both Gundabad and um, this are no Scotland. But they were attacking me. Hmm. I honestly don't know, and it looks like one whoever lived next door to that person had their house burnt down. Okay. A third letter to the king? I swear we read a second letter to the king last. Yeah, yeah, we got we got new stuff to read. Nope, I tried to put a backpack in a backpack. We got a new letter to read. To King Dane the Second, the days now grow shorter and are wearier. Many months ago I sent Owen with some others to the Holland Gate. But they have not returned. I do, know, do not know what has become of them. I am not well and I feel haunted by an unknown madness. Unco uncounted hours How have I spent gazing into the mirror mirror. This is dark evil in the depths of Moria. I feel worse than orcs may yet, yet lurk in the shadows beneath. We must tread carefully. Balin son of Fundin, Lord of Moria. So we are finding all of the letters from Balin to Dane, and yeah, we've got, we've got uh, two and three now. We just need one. Yeah, that's weird because I just did the Moria quest in my Lego Lord of the Rings series before I recorded this. So, yeah, that's that's pretty cool. That um, that's a thing. But I still don't like this whole April Fool's thing. It's weird. <laughs> it's scary. I don't think I played last time on April Fool's Day before. Unless this is a new thing for this year. Because it's certainly very strange. How far are we? We haven't got very far at all. We're going to be a couple of episodes in the Lone Lands at least. Just purely because of that silly invasion that I took part in. I mean, they were not happy. All these sideways skewiff wargs throwing giant pigs at me. Like it's just strange. What else is strange is how flat this area is and how different different parts of the Lone Lands actually are. It's kind of cool. I hear orcs and I don't want anything to do with them. And there's a structure over here by the looks of it, which I'll go and have a look at. I mean there's not really much of a path anymore. But we'll try to stick in the rough vicinity of what once was one. If this is anything unusual, I won't touch it. Hello, spinning rabbit. Yeah, there's not a lot here, look. Right, let's get back to the quote-unquote path. If we can even find it. There's a lot of coal and stuff. There's ruins everywhere. I think this may be the path over here. So there is somewhat of a path. Just very potholy, unfurnished one. And there's my last piece of rabbit gone. Food pouch. What should we snack on next? Oh, there's Lembus bread. We'll go for Lembus bread. Lembus bread you only need to eat like once when you're hot. Uh, food gets really low. So Lembus is a good food to go for. Because this will last a long time. God, it's just so quiet. There's literally nothing here. Apart from those like two or three trees on the like, horizon.
and some random cows everywhere. Or should I say a rocks? And of course the spinny bunnies. Because there's nothing weird about the cows. So it's not all the animals they've completely April Foolsified. That's good to know. That is very good to know. But yeah. Very, very confusing. But look at that horizon. There's literally nothing here. In fact, this would be quite a good thumbnail of just emptiness. Yeah, if I, if I don't find anything else interesting, that's going to be the thumbnail. Just completely flat, empty terrain. It reminds me of... What does it remind me of? It reminds me of, like... Oh, it reminds me of Fuerteventura, the island, the Canary Island. There, there's literally nothing in, like, certain parts. And then in other parts, there's, like, a hotel and a beach and stuff. And then behind it, there's just nothing. It's just, like, some hills. And absolutely nothing. And I think it looks cool. And terrain like this is really cool. But it's just really boring. There's just nothing here. And there's little clumps of trees every now and again. The path is a pain to run along. But you know. Oh there's a ranger tower. We'll be able to refill our arrow stock hopefully. What was that noise? That was a noise. But yeah there's a ranger tower. I mean. What's that next to it as well? Is that just a boulder? Up on the hill there. I think it is just a boulder. Oh, it looks like there's some woodland over here. We're, getting, we're nearing Weathertop. Which is quite good. But yeah, let's let's have a look if there's anything we can find. Good to bad walks have launched an invasion. Not again. Not again. <laughs> Run away! God, this is the episode of Invasion. No! No! Hey. To be honest, keep a safe camp at night and stay out of the shadows, to be honest. God, they're using text talk. To be honest, by nightfall this land will be crawling with orcs, to be honest. I mean, it's crawling with orcs now! But you're not doing anything about it, are you? Five arrows. Yeah, that's going to be really helpful. Green apples. Let's... let's suck them up into our... No, we don't want to eat them yet. Okay, so the idea is we need to get... It's just chasing a rabbit. Wait. Like... Okay. Go! Nope, he's eating us. Run! Run like you've never run before from the sideways weird wargs. Hopefully they'll give up soon. Nope. Don't drop the hammer. Okay, maybe if we just take out these two. Right. So now those two are gone. We'll be fine for a bit. Good. We have a lot of warg stuff. I mean, there's no way that we're going to be able to, like, run out. And of the fact that we've got a warg skin rug that used to belong to Gandalf the Walk is brilliant. I mean <laughs> like which or like which orc goes, I like this walk, we're gonna name it Gandalf. <laughs> like seriously. I find that really funny. Cause of all the things to name a walk, Gandalf after a wizard. It's kind of a cool name, but I hate just hearing orc sounds. Is that camp up ahead that is. And what type? Is it an orc camp or a ranger camp? Because if it's an orc camp, there's no point in going. But if it's a ranger camp, we may be able to get some more arrows. In fact, do we have any spare arrows? No, we just have a few feathers and sticks. If we had flint, that would be perfect, but we don't. Oh, it looks to be a ranger camp. It could be mistaken from this far away. What is that? Let's have a look anyway. What is this? It's just a pillar. Well, actually, it may be a dork camp. Yeah, this is orcish. But. Oh no, it is ranger camp. I'm just not used to them having grey tents. Okay, we don't need any of these ranger bows. We just need arrows. Good, we have 16 now, which is a. Decent amount. Can we buy anything off you? No. 
We don't want to go down there. We knew what happened last episode when we did that. Let's go back to the path and continue. God, the emptiness of these lone lands are ridiculous. Hopefully we'll come across something interesting soon. Just passing by Weathertop, so we're almost halfway to the last bridge. This is going to be a long trek across the lone lands. I should have packed more provisions. Should have prepared for about umpteen uh, warg invasions. I mean, can we just have something more interesting, like an orc invasion or something? They drop armor. I really don't need any more warg fur. But that's that's one thing I don't need is warg fur now. I can go up into Farodwaith with no problem. Uh, I don't think we will climb one of those towers. There's usually not too much at the top. Plus, it takes a load of blocks and stuff to climb the coast. Well, we just witnessed a suicide. A ghost. Ghostly orc suicide. Well, that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. There's always a burnt down thing up here. Or some sort of fort. Hopefully something with a chest. Or something interesting. Because there's not a lot here in the Lone Lands. Some donkeys. And a pig. Thankfully they're not firing pigs at us anymore. I mean thankfully that's... Yeah we don't want any pigs being fired at us anymore. But what's happened here? There seems to be like... Some sort of... A black brick in this fortress. There's a chest in this one as well. Oh wow, okay. Uh, it's an Angmar fortress. Uh, none of them seem really that useful. More arrows is good. So what do we have here? Ranger's Guide Volume 1 and the Lament of Numenor. How many of this stuff do we already have? So a, la uh, a Lament of Numenor we can read now. It's not too long. 12 pages. Oh, we can read, we can read, it doesn't look that long. 10,000 stars adorn the sky, each bore sharp fruit of, winkly, of winking light. They wove grey lengths of f fulgent fire and laid them on the keening night. 10,000 trees rose from the earth, their leaves were green and gold of yore, but their boughs were bent in sighing song from hill to hill from shore to shore. And in those trees, 10,000 birds were weaving myriad melodies. The moonlight fell on feathered pearls borne on the silvered ocean breeze. And then in that sea, ten thousand waves were forming gently on the strand when joyfully the sailing ships approached the gifted land. The shores were graced and weathered hulls, well, with weathered hulls, snow white, the sea foam on their prows. The sailors sang to wailing gulls and washed the seal blood from their brows. The wingless and the flightless next felt speeding bolt and bleeding spear. The trees looked slowly on, perplexed, with ruddy feet and rosy hair. To them were turned ten thousand blades, their sawmill started then to swing, for those trees were wind and waves, and for the, la the barren land a king. Then earth and stars they undermined, dark coal burnt blackly in their hold. Their resting nights they roused and lined with lamps of royal gold. Ten thousand stars are veiled in void with night when nightshade blossoms on the west. Bitter shadow broods above and the flowers in our wretched rest. Ten thousand spectral boughs are raised amid this night of mid our rain. In far flung moats of memory, there they unsubstantially remain. Beneath those boughs ten thousand cages glisten in an action's glow. The lonely moon casts empty lights upon the trembling waves below. Beneath those waves ten thousand fish are swirling in a silver warm a silver swarm. The dark tide rises in the night, serene amid the storm. Well that was nice until it turned like depressing and stuff. But it, it was nice. Time to get back to the road. There's another one. God, there's another fortress straight up ahead. What are the chances? But yeah, that was a bit of a strange, a bit of a strange thing to read. It's all about how um, everything was fine until these guys got off some boats and started like making everything not fine, which makes which makes sense. Men usually make things not fine. 
men and women i don't want to be sexist humans mankind usually make things not great with nature and stuff no scotland have, nor have launched an invasion nearby what have no scotland got to do with anything no scotland go away where is no scotland who are no, no scotland which no scotland do they mean which no scotland will i have to fight okay they're in there oh for god's sake there's more wargs <laughs> so it's gundabad of long invasion against me they like doing that don't they <laughs> If I stay here, they will come out one by one, hopefully. Because we can't get poisoned. Take these guys one at a time. Right. Hello? Okay, you have a big hole. A cool hat. You have a big reach. <coughs> These are Uruks rather than... <coughs> yep, they are, they are Uruks. <coughs> they have a bigger reach than me. But I have a harder hitting weapon. They are strong. <coughs> okay, they, there's a lot of them. Okay, this has been an intense episode. To be honest, have you not been driven out by our armies yet, scum, to be honest? Okay, hello, there's a lot of you. Yep, that's a lot. Okay, it's the archers that are the problem because I can avoid hits by a lot of them. Okay, get out for a bit. Get some regen. Arch is the worst. Okay, there we go. We should hopefully get some arrows back from that. Good, we've got a few. We got three. Not nearly enough. We don't want to eat them. Hopefully, we can pick some of these arrows up. Picked a few up. We got picked one up. Okay. Okay. How many more are in there then? A few. Okay, so we took care of two of them. Okay, we're fresh out of arrows. And there are more coming in. Brilliant. Do we need that many? Run. <laughs> so it's the Uruk the walks that are the problem, and the Uruks. And as long as there are no ranged guys, we can hold for a little bit. Hopefully we get some new armor and weapons, because my durability is getting low. Okay, we have stuff. We have another org coming with a crossbow guy on top. Brilliant, I said we'd be fine without range. What do we get? Range. It's 
We've run out of ranged abilities. Okay. And it's night time. We can't deal with nighttime and an invasion. Right. Bed down. Sleep. Get that daytime. God, this is intense. Get the daytime on roll. So how many do we have? Let's skirt. Okay, that, that's all of the horns gone. It's just a crossbow guy left. Oh. Okay. Nice. Right. Coin pouch. Good. Oh. Hey, two arrows. Brilliant. Oh, we are some great friends. Okay, good. We got stuff. Mordor Warhammer. Uh, hmm. We'll take that just in case. Weak orc bow. No, we won't take that. More arrows. Good. We'll take that and put that in the equipment pouch because that will be a good thing to have in the equipment pouch because we do have some leftover weapons like a lasting blue dwarven battle axe and stuff like that but we are a bit thin on the ground on good stuff to save us when our stuff runs out but apart from that we can pick up some old bones and stuff cool right god we have been we've certainly been in the wars a bit this episode haven't we god let's hope for no more invasions Let's really hope with no, uh, with no more invasions. If this was a friends episode, it would be called the one with all the invasions. But it's not. It's a Minecraft The Lord of the Rings episode, so I'm probably just going to call it uh, Invaded in the Lone Lands. Or this land that will, uh, will be crawling with orcs. Or this land is crawling with orcs. Oh, that's a good one. This land is crawling with orcs. Where's the path? Yeah, it's, it's, it's not north, it's south. Is that another fortress? Or is that where we've just come from? No, we've just come from that one. Oh, God, we're getting every fortress in the land. Okay, when I said the Lone Lands were boring, I mean, this is not exactly what I meant. I didn't want this to happen. But hey, more stuff, more free stuff for me. Ooh, a blunt ang actually no blunt, that's not great. No 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 that stuff is really worthwhile, is it? Oh wait, no, we did go to that one. I was just going the wrong way because that's the one we were just at now. Ugh. Good job. Good job me. Well, that's the Lone Lands for you. They get me turned around completely. I just looked at the compass and sorted it out. Yeah, because look, there's the stone fortress that was right next to that one. Well. Well, 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 indeed. Let's get back to the path which we are on. Let me get my hair out of my face. Hair, hair is sorted out of my face. Had to take my headset off and tuck my hair under it, but it's it's now out my face so I can see again. And how far did we end up going? Barely even made it to Weathertop, so this is going to be a long trek. I mean, we have a good 20 minutes before I absolutely want to end. So we'll see how quickly we can get across the land. If any more invasions are started, depending on what they are, I'll fight them. Because, I mean, they love me. They really, yeah, Gundabad hate me. Scotland's don't. So yeah, and the Duna Dine like, like me quite a bit. What is this ranger camp? You're right here. It's the worst ranger camp I've ever seen. No tents. Just wanted some arrows, to be completely honest. So arrows seem to be a commodity. It's unless it's unless we dig up some gravel to get a flint and craft arrows. Which I think I'll do. Just realising I don't have a shovel. So yeah, let's not let's not do that. If I don't have a shovel, let's not. I thought the mattock would 
Latex are just axes and pickaxes, aren't they? Yeah, no shovel. Sadly. But hey, maybe in the equipment pouch there'll be a shovel. There's Lucky Iron Dagger and Arnorian Dagger. Don't really need an Iron Dagger. Got a spare bow. Linden stuff. Another dagger. Crossbow bolts, but no crossbow. Okay, good. We've got we've got a fair few stuff to last me a bit, which is good. Don't want this dagger. The only iron dagger I want is Idon Dagra, which I still have. Yeah, this is this is the Lone Lands, all right. Bushes everywhere. Yeah, this is gonna make it running through a pain. Someone needs to come in. Fix this road up, all right? <coughs> Keep hearing orcs as well as like if. Yeah, someone needs to come in and fix this road. Sand even. Well. Okay, I don't even know what happened here. Did like a bush just grow under the road and lift the rocks up? Must have done. I am very glad that there are no more invasions happening right now because they're after two warg invasions and a no Scotland invasion, aka a good to bad invasion. I'm a bit tired of all the invasions. Hey, at least it's a nice little forested area. This is nice. I'm glad lip, uh, not litmus paper, lembus bread uh, has uh, lasted me very, very nicely. I just hope we have enough food to last us a good while because I reckon I'll have to start collecting food in a bit. Hope to do that in like Lothlorien or Rivendell because elves have lots of lembus and stuff. Is that an orc camp? Oh, it is. Let's have a look around. Let's have a poke around. I doubt they'll have anything. Ooh, Tom Bodger. Oh, go away, you bandits. Why is it whenever we go to an orc camp, we get bandited? What did we lose? Literally all my pouches. Where did that bandit go? All right, we got him. Oh my god, we got everything. Notes to self. Got some orc torches. Right. Don't let them steal. Can they? So they steal stuff out of pouches, and they also steal pouches. Oof. Nope. I don't get my mattock back. Well, I've lost my mattock. Do we already have this Tom Bombadil book? Yes. Right. Okay. So we no longer have a mattock. So we're out of tools. Unless the mattock is around here somewhere. But I reckon a bandit has just made off with it. So I managed to catch up with all the others. <coughs> Yeah, at least we got a bit more arrows anyway. Right. So this episode's been intense. I'm glad I've recorded it all. The loss of my mattock is sad. At least it wasn't anything really that important. And of course there's another fortress. Hopefully there'll be a tool in here to replace the mattock. That would be nice. I doubt it, but it would be nice. Right. So we got some stuff. And uh, unwithering. 
and my helmet. I'm very paranoid. Hang my legs and then hardly hang my boots. Well, we'll take. Okay, it's just a rabbit. We'll take the boots and helmet because we have hang my legs already. Coins on the floor. Them in there. All right. Let's go and hope we don't get raided again by bandits. What's that? Bandit! Gandalf the Bandit! Maybe that's what the walk was named after. So the Gandalf the Warg wasn't named after the wizard, it was named after Gandalf the Bandit. Oh gosh. Well, I'm glad I'm able to protect myself. And, oh gosh. Yeah, just as I say, I hope we don't run into any more bandits. I just see one charging out of the trees. Well then. And, yeah, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad we've protected us. God, that's shaken me up a little bit. Gandalf the bandit. Hope everything is just... I hope everything's named Gandalf. That's probably what it is, you know. I reckon everything's named Gandalf in the April Fool's thing. Like, all the bad guys are named Gandalf. So Gandalf the Bandit, Gandalf the Warg. I reckon that's what it is, you know. How far? Yeah, we're not, get, we're not getting that much progress. I thought we'd do much more today. But those two... Um, uh, those three invasions, two bandit attacks, all the fortresses and stuff I've had to raid... The loss of my matic. It's been tough. Yeah, it has been tough. It's been a tough episode. Wow. Okay. Well. 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 I'm. I. I. I want a forest. I get into a forest, and I get raided by bandits twice. And I'm like, well, no, I just want to be an out in the open so bandits can't sneak up on me. And now there's no open for a while. There's no winning with the lo with the lone lands. It's either bandits or orcs or both. And I wish the rangers would do more to help, you know. Look, I've got almost 200 alignment with you. And you're like, nah, you can do it. Which, you know, I find insulting. I do. It's fine. Right. How much... Yeah, I, I'm really tired of this forest now, but it's probably going to stay a thing for a while. And I mean, it's more interesting than just the big flat openness, I guess. Does have that going for it, which is good. Oh, it may, we may be breaking out into some sort of a clearing. The forest is definitely thinning. Yes, look at that. We're back into the open for a little bit. We're going to sort of a dying wood by the looks of it. I love the variety of different like biomes within this biome of the Lone Lands. So it's still just well, no, it's jungle. No, it's not. It's Lone Lands. Okay, that's that's weird. Yeah, it's Lone Lands biome. And I just love the variety of either open plain, dying wood, dense forest. It's nice. It's a nice thing to play in. I do like it. I'm glad to be able to record. All of this, all of this game, it's good fun. There's a camp over there with a house. Luckily, it's a ranger camp. It's just a bronze sword that's not very useful. Is that just an orc camp over there? Hooch, more hooch, all the hooch. 
Right, what, what do we have here? More bread. Calm. Rangers, you're supposed to be supplying arrows. Go away! Huh. Yeah, they're all called Gandalf. And I got a new large pouch. Hooray! Well, I gained something useful off that bandit. And for me, it's going to be a place to store these bones. Bones and stuff. So I'm tired of it filling this up. So from now on, these sort of drops are going in the large black pouch. Where it can be filled up as much as it likes by junk like this. And let's call it Death Pouch, because it's black and it's full of death. Thank you, Gandalf the Bandit, for this amazing gift of the Death Pouch. And now, let's wait. I should have probably been more vi vigilant that there wasn't going to be another bandit coming to get me. Which there isn't, which is good. So we've actually made somewhat of a profit off that bandit, which is good. Yeah. Good. Right, let's get back on the road and r run a little bit longer. Because I'm not going to that other camp. So. Yeah. That's the Lone Lands. Well, the foot part one of the Lone Lands. We have part two to go next episode. Wowee, that's like... That is the most action I think we've had in one of these episodes in a long, long time. Which is good. It should be a good one to watch. So I'm glad everyone who has watched this one has enjoyed it. But yeah, it's it's been intense, this episode. It really has. And I'm going to eat a Lembus bread. Did some of my Lembus bread get stolen? Sorry I didn't eat that much. Oh well, we have plenty of food, we have a new pouch, my ra my uh, backpack's now emptied out a bit which is good. My pipe weed's in there, it's not good, we want my pipe weed out there. Uh, these should definitely go in the death pouch. There we are. Well, there we have it. That is the end of this episode of Minecraft The Lord of the Rings. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.